hello. It is Halloween time, which is one of my favorite times of the year, so I thought I would do some sort of Halloween themed video for you guys. If you're anything like me, you love looking through the Halloween tags on, uh, on Pinterest or just anywhere really. And I have been looking through those tags quite a bit recently because, you know, you just gotta get into the Halloween spirit, right? I came across quite a few Halloween makeup looks that I want to try, so I thought I would just film this and <laughs> we'll see how it goes. The plan is to upload one every day from now until Halloween. And just to be clear, this is not a makeup tutorial. Uh, I'm not claiming that it is that. This is just a, let's see how good slash bad Nikki can do this Halloween look. So let's just get into this. Um, the first look I want to do is uh, this one. There you go. Sort of like a bit of a creepy clown, but still kind of cool looking. So the first thing we're going to do is get our base, the foundation, and I'm going to use the CoverGirl True Blend, and that is in number 405 Ivory. I'm just gonna use my fingers here. Now this clown is like super pale, so we're just gonna try and be as white as possible with this one, which shouldn't be too hard, like else pull like really weird faces when you're putting foundation under your eyes. It's just such a weird feeling. Get yourself in your phone camera and forget that real mirrors exist. Oh boy. Alrighty. So with that we're ready for the next step. Next up, I am going to use my MAC Wonder Woman blush. I have always loved this packaging, like, how could you not? It's just so cool. Alrighty. Now we are going to start with the eyes. It looks like there are a few different colors in this eyeshadow look on the clown, so I'm gonna go in with a few different colors from different pal palettes. I'm going to start with Sunset Boulevard from my Kat Von D Tattoo Chronicles Candelabra Edition palette. And by the way, these brushes are just nothing special. I've had them for like, I think 10 years now. It's just, it's, it's awful. I really, really need new brushes. I'm not usually a big fan of yellow, but I actually love this color, especially during summertime. It just makes for such a nice, like, summery look. Next, I'm going to go in with this orange Arden color. Look guys, it's from when they still had the accent on the A. Then they took it off because everyone kept pronouncing it, pronouncing it Arden. So sad. So that can tell you how old this thing is. I would never use orange in real life. <laughs> That's why Halloween's so good sometimes. You just never know. Next I'm going to go in with my Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D. And I'm going to use uh, this color, which is Salios. I think that's what it's, how it's pronounced, I don't know. But anyhow, that's what I'm using. This one 
This has a really, really dark crease, so... And hide as well. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm gonna go in with Shax, which is this black color right here. I am concentrating so hard right now. face though. <laughs> Bottom shadow is the most awkward thing ever. Alright, well it's somewhat even. This looks crazy. <laughs> but we're gonna see if this eyeliner coming up next will help it out. Okay, so the clown in the picture has some winged eyeliner going on, and then also those like triangle things at the top and bottom of the eyes. So we're gonna do a normal liner first. And it is across the entire eye. Definitely need a new liquid liner, that's for sure. Oh god. <laughs> Left eye. Because I have hooded eyes, the winged liner is going to look a little bit crazy, no matter what I do. So we're just going to go with that. It looks sort of normal when you're looking straight ahead. <laughs> That's what I'm going with. Next, I'm going to do the eyebrows. This clown has very, very dark eyebrows, so I'm going to use black eyeliner because I don't have a black eyebrow pencil so it feels so weird in my eyebrows Ooh. I feel like that's probably dark enough. She says as she puts more in. Okay, you're looking a bit crazy. Let's keep going. Next I'm going to do the black lipstick. Oh, that is very expired. This is the NYC Long Wearing Lipstick in 3H1. Is that the color? I have no idea. It's black. It's black. My camera stopped recording, I turned it back on, and then I started filming, but it wasn't filming. It wasn't on. So, here we go again. Back to it. Oh, 
Oh god, I, I can't ever hear those words the same way again. Did anyone else watch The Walking Dead Season 7 premiere? Of friendly advice if you have never smelled or used expired lipstick just don't just don't it's disgusting it's sticky and it stinks I'm just whew. glad we're done with that stuff this clown has some cool lines going on at the end I'm going to use liquid eyeliner by the way this is the Maybelline New York line stiletto ultimate precision liquid eyeliner About even. And for the final touches, we're just going to do those triangles around the eyes. I clearly need new eyeliner. <laughs> Lines are reminding me of something not necessarily clowny. Harlequin doll, that's what it's reminding me of. Did it look really crazy when I did this? Yeah, yeah, I did. And I forgot to do mascara. This is the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express. That is the finished look. I gotta say, I really like the makeup in the uh, the Pinterest picture. Um, the great thing about Halloween is that you can be terrible at makeup and be like, "Oh yeah, this is this is totally what I meant to look like." It's not terrible, but it's not quite the picture. 
But anyhow, it was fun to try out this look. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you tomorrow in the next video. Bye-bye.